Hey everyone, it's John Carella, one of the co-creators and executive producer of Dance Moms. And I am super excited. I feel so excited to be doing a podcast about all things dance. We're going to talk about dance and film and TV. We're going to talk about the dance competition world. And we're also going to talk about some LGBTQ issues that intersect with dance. This space is going to be a safe space for myself, for you, for the guest to use our voice, to be bold, to be fierce, to be messy, to make mistakes, and most importantly, to forgive and heal. I couldn't have this podcast without talking with some of the guests that are from Dance Moms, but I'm hopeful that these conversations are going to be different. They're going to be meaningful, and you're going to get some insight on their thoughts and feelings about things you never knew. I also grew up in this dance competition world as a young kid that I fell in love with. I was Mr. Dance of America in 1994, and I still currently am teaching and choreographing in it. So I'm going to be talking with people that are in it as well about how it's changed, how it needs to change, and just some advice on this colorful, magical world that I love. I also danced professionally for about 35 years with Prince, with Paula Abdul, with Tony Braxton, had some incredible experiences and met some amazing people. I'm going to invite some people who dance, who act, who direct, who choreograph, and we are going to give our advice to all you people out there that have these goals and dreams and want to experience dance in the same way we have. I grew up a young feminine boy who fell in love with dance, and I ended up growing up to be a gay man who loves dance, who created a show about dance. But within that, it definitely was challenging. So I feel it's important to have these meaningful, heartfelt conversations with people in the LGBTQ community, because they do intersect so much in the dance world. I'm going to be talking with people who have amazing projects, who are bold, who are fierce, and we're all going to learn and share how we have healed and how we are hopefully ending suffering. And that's my goal with this, is to expose, atone, restructure, and most importantly, heal to end suffering. There's a quote by Martin Luther King, and he says, our life begins to end when we become silent about the things that matter. And I feel that is the same thing for dance. Dance will end when we become silent about the things that matter. So keep using your voice. Make sure you warm up, take a deep breath, and let's dance.